Good morning, sixth graders. If you're watching this, it means you should have finished your do now. If you haven't, then pause the video, unpause when you're done. Welcome back, check your answers. Make sure that you have these things right here. Hopeful is a tone. While you read a text, you can feel hopeful. That's your attitude, but never lose hope. That's a theme, a lesson that our author is trying to teach us. Check your answers right here, unpause when you're done. Welcome back, directions. Le read the list of words below that can describe an author's tone. Circle any words that identify a tone at some point in Java's commencement speech so far. So these words here to the left are just examples of tones that an author can have in their text. If I'm an author, I'm sitting down and when I write, I should be saying, all right, how do I want my reader to feel when they're reading this? And then I'm gonna create a tone pretty intentionally. Here's some examples of tone and their definitions. Circle whichever words identify a tone that you think we've seen in his speech so far. If you don't know a word, look at the definition to the right. And if you still don't understand, then skip it. Unpause once you've circled any word that describes how you felt while reading job speech. Unpause when you're done. Okay, so you should have just circled whatever things you felt and seen that there are many different feelings you can have while reading a text. But we're going to finish up analyzing tone today because his Jobs' commencement speech, flip to this page, is made up of three stories. The first story was about connecting the dots. That was when he talked about dropping out of college, taking that calligraphy class and what it taught him. The second story was about love and loss. We read that yesterday, how he got fired from Macintosh, but then still continued the work he loved. And then today... We're gonna read his third story that he puts in his commencement speech to the graduates. It's about death. So today as you read, you are gonna do the same thing as before. Read your story and track for the tone. I want you really to be using some of these words on the front page. A lot of us are using the same words like just sad, happy, faithful. I want us to push ourselves to use any of the words in here. So when you are done, go ahead. If you want to use the read aloud on the next link, you may. If not, just go ahead, annotate for tone. Make sure you're not only annotating for tone, but also central idea stop and jots, unknown vocabulary words, and then any of the other things if you do see conflict and theme as well, but really focusing on tone.